We found a new Zevia drink. And it's for kids. And we're going to review it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so i was recently perusing through amazon because you know it's like my favorite hobby to do yeah that could be dangerous actually i was looking for reordering some zevia energy drinks because amazon is the best place to get it and you need to stock your zevia wall i need to stock my zevia wall well i don't have a lot of energy drinks we get two cases of it delivered a month and uh, yeah, all of a sudden, this popped up on the screen. Are you sure you weren't looking for Disney stuff? Because there's a lot of Disney right here. No, I wasn't looking for Disney stuff, but the Disney stuff is what kind of caught my attention because I was like, oh, Zevia, kids, you mean they have a kid's drink? Because I started thinking about all of the garbage that we used to feed our kids when they were little. Yeah, I noticed there's no Goofy here. There could be Goofies on the kids' Capri Suns and Kool-Aids and all of the garbagey, sugared drinks that we used to pack in the school lunches every I day. even remember at one point we found on clearance at a store, I don't know if it was like High C or Capri Sun or Kool-Aid, one of those companies, Green. and it was like the ectoplasm. It was like a Ghostbusters promo, and I know it had been discontinued like a long time ago. But it was cheap. And the kids liked it, so we bought like cases of it. I just would like to apologize to all of my children's teachers. Can you imagine handling those jokers after lunch when I had just given them a sugar ball in a beverage form? The worst part was we didn't just give it to them for school. We let them drink it for breakfast, on their way to school, for snacks at home, for dinner. They would drink literally between the three of them more than a 12 pack of it a day. And we wondered why they had trouble concentrating. Yeah. So I was really excited that I saw this at Zevia Kids. And if you don't know what Zevia is, Zevia makes uh, sodas mm -hmm. and like I said, energy drinks, teas. They have some seltzer waters. And they even have some like spritzers like for like mixing with cocktails yeah. like tonic water and yeah. ginger beer and stuff like that. I like them all. They're flavored with stevia instead of using like sucralose or aspartame or some of the other harmful chemicals. That's the Z. Yeah. And the ingredients are really clean. So are you ready to get into this? Because I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, I'm super excited. Okay. So we, I found four flavors and we bought these on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link for them down below. Mm -hmm. Now you can buy these either in a four pack like this, the way I bought it, or you can buy a case of each flavor. So it's up to you how you want to get it. I just want to note before we get into the flavors that Mickey is on fruit punch because fruit punch is always the best. I'm kind of disappointed there's no grape. No, see Disney knows how to do it right. <laughs> okay, so here's what we got. We've got fizzy apple. We've got fruit punch, strawberry lemonade, and then we have orange cream. Well, I and I do like the angry. fact that McDonald's. obviously Disney is endorsing us because, I mean, it's not just their characters. It's not like lookalikes. It's actually got a little Mickey Mouse with a check up here and a Donald Duck. I like the fact that each flavor actually has a different character. Well, and here's the thing. When you're not putting out a bunch of sugar in a bottle, the parents are going to be happy with you. Teachers are going to be happy with you. They're not gonna get a bunch of angry mail probably because they're putting out an alternative to the juice packets that are out there right. that are chock full of sugar. So let's, let's do this. Let's try to get all these boxes out so that the camera focuses on the can and on our face because it looks like it may be a little off focus with the big box. How cute are these? We're gonna try each one 
and then we're gonna put it through our five things review. So I like these, these are, it looks like they're seven and a half ounce cans. So that's like perfect. That's probably, I don't know what the exact measurement for a Capri Sun is, but I have a feeling it's about the it's, same amount. It's loosely that much juice, whatever form that it's in. And if your school has a problem with it being in a can, you probably could move it over to like a thermos or something like that. Or if you think the kids would have a hard time with this pull tab. Right. Okay, so which flavor are we gonna start first for? I wanna end with orange cream. Really? I love orange cream. Do you guys like orange cream? How many people like orange cream? Like I love orange cream zip fizz. I love orange cream soda. Were you the I love orange, orange cream ice Julius cream. Julius guy? Were you the one guy I shopping? I loved orange cream. In Julius. the mall with orange cream. So juice. I wanna end with orange cream. Okay. I have a feeling that you wanna make a close second to the end is fruit punch. So I'm gonna say my least favorite would probably be, I was gonna say strawberry lemonade. You're really? gonna say fizzy apple? I'm gonna say apple. So we're gonna start off with apple. This is what the apple can looks like and it's got Daisy, Daisy. on it. Ooh, it's fizzy. Oh wait. Should be. I got a glass because we have to do the test. The thing that's really weird about Zevia, if you've mm -hmm. never had it before, is they don't use any coloring. Which is a good so, thing. White, it's clear. It's clear. I want to call it white. It's clear. <laughs> okay, I'll. It smells like apple. It smells like apple smell juice. It from, wow, I can smell it from here. You want here. to drink out of the can or the? I want the can. You want the can? Okay. That is actually really nice. That is really good. Now, I know we haven't gotten into the five things, but it may be a little strange for a kid from the get-go to be it's like, fizzy. Oh, it's fizzy. It's like an apple soda. But right behind there is a nice apple flavor. And it's not overly apple. Like, I was thinking, like, when you think of the apple and when I smelled it, I was thinking it's going to be like an apple cider. It's a very subtle apple. It's there, but it's not like... You're drinking apple juice. I immediately want to transfer this over to a cold adult glass, right? Doesn't this look like you should, I mean, you should have this in a pretty glass with an umbrella in it. Yeah. It's very flavorful. Okay, so apple's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that one. I'm shocked, to be honest. Okay, so next we're going to go with... Strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Now, we're both going to have to take a sip out of this one. You yeah, can't, I don't need to mix it back in the glass. I just... It. I, I am sure, ooh, let's have some fun. Mix the two flavors together. Yeah, so, yep, that's clear. Okay, who, who's going first? You wanna go first? I, ladies first. Oh my goodness. You thought it was gonna be terrible and it's not terrible. It's not terrible, not my favorite. I'm, it's like cotton know. candy. Yeah, I, I can't really pick out the lemonade flavor and I can't pick out the strawberry flavor. I have an after in your throat of lemon. It's in your throat though, it's in the back. Yeah, I get, I, I don't know, it's just a kind of hint of both. But it's like a cotton candy. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna put that off to the side. Oh, we're gonna go fruit punch next. Okay, please, Fruit Punch, be good. Don't tell me. Oh, I like that. Right? I like that. It is very nice. I was trying to It's almost a got a hint of a cherry cola. I'll tell you what. Not cola, but cherry. I'm going to blow your mind. You ready? It is like carbonated Hawaiian punch. Yes, it is. It's a carbonated, carbonated Hawaiian, Hawaiian punch. punch. That's another uh, beverage that I've sent to school with the kids, full of sugar. Hawaiian punch, yes. Okay, wow, that is really good. Now, I do want to say they're carbonated, but they're not overly carbonated like a Probably soda. For kids. So it's it's less carbonation than a full-on soda or right. a full-on Zevia. You notice we haven't burped yet. Yeah. I feel like that's the clear indicator. Ooh, that was a good one. Ooh. Okay, I'm Ever. going first on this one because okay. this was my pick. Look at Joe, try not to resonate any emotion. That is good. That is good. Now you're not a huge orange cream fan. Wow. 
Wow. My mustache is bothering me. That is really up there That for is like me. an orange creamsicle flavor. Like they nailed they orange cream. They nailed it. It is like eating an orange creamsicle ice cream in a can. Now here's the thing. We're drinking these at room temperature. Yeah, they're not cold. How good they're going to be when they're chilled? Yeah, they're not ice? cold. They've actually been sitting on our counter for about a week. I'll let, I'll let you keep that one next to you. Okay, well let's put them back out and let's okay. put them all through our five things review. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Yeah. So we're gonna start off with the ingredients. Okay, so I have a feeling they're all gonna be the same. So I've got the orange one. It actually says live your best right on it. It says Aww. ingredients are carbonated water, natural flavors, organic stevia leaf extract, and citric acid. Yeah, so what is making each one a distinct flavor is the natural flavor that happens to be in it. Yeah, so they all have the same exact ingredients. Now, uh, let's talk about natural flavors. There's not much natural about natural flavors. They're all made in labs. They don't have to tell you what's in it. It could be like the peels of oranges, or it could be just a bunch of chemicals made up to make it taste like orange. Right. So um, I'm personally not against natural flavors. I know some people are, so that may be a concern. I don't mind consuming them. It's one of the few things that like when I look at a label, I'm like, eh, not a big deal. Yeah, me neither. It just says that there, there's 0% juice in yes. here. So I kind of like that. Yeah, so uh, ingredients overall, my personal opinion, very good. The only sweetener is stevia, which means, and I have tested with Zevia soda, it is not gonna raise your glucose, it's not considered a sugar alcohol, and it is zero carb. We haven't even gotten to that, but stevia is zero carbs. And it's caffeine free, so not only are your kids not going to have a jolt of sugar energy, but they're also not gonna be over caffeinated yeah. while drinking this. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? All you right. wanna go with this one? Yeah, so it looks like all of them, zero calories. Zero fat, zero carbs, zero protein, zero. That's so cool when you look at a label and it goes, zero. <laughs> Can we just put a giant zero on the back? Yeah, just, oh my gosh, that would be awesome, right? If it just said like nothing. Zero, there's nothing in this. So number two, does a keto based on a nutrition label? Yeah. I think it does. Yeah, absolutely. So number three, how does it taste? I am actually very surprised by this. They kind of taste to me more like the clearly Canadian. Do you remember those? Like the, the sparkling, you know, fruity beverages. Okay. Very good. I think all of them have the, a really distinct flavor with the exception of, not this one, with the exception of um, strawberry lemonade is I the most confused. I don't get the strawberry lemonade. It's not It's not bad tasting. It just doesn't taste distinctly lemonade-y or strawberry-y. Yeah. Um, but apple tastes like apple. Orange cream definitely tastes like an orange creamsicle. And fruit punch tastes like a carbonated Hawaiian punch. I would definitely say, I mean, I think they're all good. My go-to, if I was going to personally drink them, and I will be drinking the rest of these because I bought them, Yeah. Uh, is fruit punch and orange. Yeah. Those those two are separated well beyond the apple and the strawberry lemonade. Yes, but I think the best thing to onboard a kid with, with would be the apple because yeah, it tastes true. very much like apple juice, just carbonated apple juice. And I'm excited to share these with my nephews who have in the past drank you know, juice, like yeah. kids do. This is a familiar taste without there being the familiar sugars and garbage in it. Yeah. So number four, how much do they cost? Okay, this is where I'm getting a little nervous because the reason why we were, you know, drinking so much Ghostbuster juice is because it was like a dollar fifty for twelve pouches. Well, unfortunately, it is not a dollar fifty. If you do know anything about Zevia, it does tend to be a little expensive. Okay. Now I have not yet seen this in the store. I can tell you that Zevia sodas. Though the regular price is usually $4.99 or $5.99 for a six pack, running in somewhere around a dollar a can. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with the little cans of the mixers, it's the same price, even though it's much less fluid. Right. Um, they tend to be on sale a lot in places like Whole Foods and Sprouts and local grocery stores. I find them a lot of times for like $3, $3.50, $4 for a six pack. 
I got these on Amazon, which to my knowledge is the only place that's carrying them. If you've seen these in a local store, share that for Please let us know down in the comment section. Let people know that you found it in the store because usually when a store puts Zevia on sale, it's all Zevia products, right. not just limited to the soda or something like that. So on Amazon, the price is $19.96 for 24 cans. And that okay. is the only way you can buy it. So you can buy it this way. You can buy six cans of each flavor. Right. Or you can buy 24 cans of one particular flavor. So less though than a dollar a can. It's, what is that, 83 cents a can. And it is also available with subscribe and save. Now, if you aren't familiar with the way Amazon works with subscribe and save, they do a subscribe and save where you get 5% off if you subscribe where you have it delivered every month, every two weeks, every two months, like we have a few products that like the keto snack mix, yes. the keto, like those keto things, farms. the keto farms that gets delivered one box per month. This way we limit ourselves. We get the, the energy drinks. We get one case of it delivered every single month. Mm -hmm. And then if we need extra, we order it. Right. So if you do five things, subscribe and save on Amazon, right. it ups all of your subscribe and saves from 5% to 15%. Wow. So that is a significant Something difference. To think about. So if there's a few products that you get on Amazon on a regular basis, hook it up with subscribe and save. And when you get up to five items, now your savings jumps from 5% to 15%. So I like that, tip. that option is available with this, getting either 5 or 15% off. So if I was to order it right now, subscribe and save, because I do have five items, I would get 15% off of that, which what does that come out to be? $3 off on a 12 on a 24 pack. Now we're really getting to a doable amount. Yeah, so it is obviously more expensive than Capri Sun, but it's not garbage. It's not garbage. So number five, would we recommend this? And I'm going to let you go first. I definitely would recommend this. Obviously, I wished that we could go back in time and make our kids mostly drink water. Right. Right? That would have been the better thing for us to do because we did have them drink a lot of sugary drinks and it took them all the way to adulthood for them to get out of that habit. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that they mostly drink water now, but that was, you know, an addiction that I was placing in their life. Um, I think that if we made this a special occasion drink, like maybe you only get this for lunch or you only get this once a week or something like that, I think that that would be a good thing. The price point is definitely going to have you make it a special occasion thing because it's not super cheap. But I think that this is a nice, tasty treat that kids will enjoy. It's funny you say the thing about the price point is gonna make it a special treat. So if you're new to our channel, um, I was a huge soda drinker. It was the last thing that I was willing to give up. I mean, mm -hmm. I gave up all of my sugar, I gave up all my carbohydrates, but for two and a half years of doing keto, I was not giving up my Diet Coke. And I was drinking like, I'm, when I say a huge, like 128 ounces or more per day yeah. of Diet Coke. So I finally shifted from drinking Diet Coke to drinking Zevia, and the price point of Zevia forced me to no longer drink 128 ounces a day. Right. And I limit myself to one, two, or sometimes three cans a day. But that's a good thing. And that's a good thing, and that's why you see my wall of Zevia in some of our you know, videos, because what happens is whenever it goes on a really, really good sale price, like less than $3 a six pack, I buy a bunch of it because I don't know the next time it's gonna go on sale. I am never paying $5 a six pack. No. So uh, the price point definitely will help you limit it. The other thing that I wanted to say is I'm taking another sip on this is it's not overly sweet. No. I love Zevia soda, but as somebody who's done keto for three years, been away from the sugar for three years, I find it personally very sweet, actually sweeter than Diet Coke. So it took me a little while to get used to that. I even um, really enjoy their root beer and cream soda because of that. It is sweet. Right. And it hits my sweet tooth and I love that. But you've even said like the colas and stuff, one of the reasons you don't like them is because you find them very, very sweet. They're very sweet. So that is nice that it's not as sweet as I would say an adult soda. Right. But it's also not as carbonated as an adult soda, which right. will probably also appeal to the kids. And I find it like it's very flavorful. 
but not like you're drinking a garbage drink. It's almost like a carbonated water with some sweetener and a really good essence of a flavor. Yeah. So it's not like a flavored water where it's like barely there. It's more than that. But it's, I think, a good transition where if you're giving them this, when you give them water, there's not going to be a huge difference. Right. Not like awesome and terrible. Right. And so I think I absolutely would recommend it based on all of those things. Yes, they're expensive. But again, let's start looking at how much is our kids health worth? Oh my goodness. I yes. know that we like took pride in, we fed the entire family on a dollar fifty. Right. And I look back on that and that resulted in all of our kids like battling with weight for periods of their time. Yeah. With us battling with our weight, with cavities, with sugar addiction issues. ADHD. ADHD. And I regret that. You know what? If we cut back even a little bit somewhere, you know, I'm not saying eliminate all of the fun out of their lives, but if we slowly start pulling it back, maybe we can help our children with the addiction issues that we have been struggling with our whole lives. I know to me, this represents a lot of hope that companies are starting to see we need to do something about the kids. Like yeah. we need to start, you know, giving them alternatives to stuff that is just sugared up. So that is our video for today. Like I said, if you've seen this in a store, please let us know down in the comment section. Also, let us know if you've seen any other like kids drinks or other drinks that you believe to be keto friendly. Let us know in the comment section and we'll try to pick them up and do a review on them. And don't be surprised if maybe you don't wanna share these with your children and grandchildren because they're pretty tasty. And like I said, you're probably going to want to put this in a glass with an umbrella. <sighs> adult beverage also. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.